I've been going to Argentina for probably about 12 years now and uh, its place in the kind of electronic scene just keeps growing and growing and growing. It's one of those gigs that as soon as I know it's in the diary the excitement levels are already there even if the gig's two or three months away because I know that is going to be one of the standout gigs of that whole period. The level of the events that are taking place, uh, the number of people that are turning out for the gigs is, uh, is pretty impressive. Not only are the gigs amazing to play, but uh, Argentina is also a fantastic place to just be in. Um, the culture, the people, the food, everything about it is, is amazing. Uh, it does feel like a second home to me. In terms of crowd reaction, you know, it has to be one of the best places in the world. I mean, I've been very fortunate to have played pretty much every country on the planet and done some mind-blowing gigs. But the consistency of the crowd in Argentina uh, just blows my mind. Um, it just seems to get better and better for me. The crowds are getting bigger and bigger and the reaction is just getting off the scale. So. Uh, as I said, I'm very lucky to do some amazing gigs all around the world, but uh, I would say that uh, the gigs in Argentina are probably the ones I look forward to the most. Looking back on this weekend in uh, September 2013, it was just like nine months since I'd been uh, down in South America and I did New Year's Eve in Buenos Aires at Crowbar and I played Rosario the night before and uh, I was lucky to do Mal del Plata and also Cordoba on that tour and all those dates were amazing. So coming back uh, nine months later to do a big show in uh, Rosario and also a big show in uh, Buenos Aires was something which uh, I was very excited about. Um, but also these were very big gigs, standalone gigs, just myself uh, playing a long, long set and uh, Martin Garcia warming things up as only he can is one of my uh, favourite DJs, uh, he just plays so deep and sets the mood perfectly that you can just start from anywhere you like and he knows the Argentinian crowd so well so it was a perfect combination. So looking back at this weekend in September it still gives me uh, goosebumps, I'm still blown away by the, the reaction that I got, um, obviously flew in from uh, London, landed in uh, Buenos Aires, had uh, a chance to get some rest, and then uh, the following day we drove to uh, Rosario. The, the venue, Metropolitano, uh, was pretty incredible. It's like a industrial warehouse space, massive sound system, um, great light show, and just, just the most kind of unique venue that you want to play in. The Rosario gig was a lot deeper. You had a lot more time to kind of just build into the groove and then slowly, slowly, slowly ease into it, picking up the tempo, picking up the groove, picking up the energy. And that's what I love about the Argentinian crowd. They love their music. They love hearing new music. I mean, I'm playing so much new music at these gigs and the crowd are reacting as if they'd heard them 20 times over. They'd been there from, uh, say, 10 o'clock both nights until 7, 7.30 in the morning. And the energy from the crowd was the same at the end of the night as it was when I first started my set. They are relentless, they are passionate. Um, there are people that have travelled up from Cordoba, from Buenos Aires and other parts of Argentina as well. It's quite a special event to know that people have made such an effort to come to that gig 
and uh, I knew full well the following night at Mandarin Park was going to be equally as special. The actual location of Mandarin Park was uh, very unique in itself, um, right on the banks of the River Plate uh, where the docks are and also very close to the uh, domestic airport in Buenos Aires, so a lot of traffic down there. The, uh, the set at Buenos Aires, slightly bit more up tempo, still the deep grooves to start with, but it's just, just about the mood that I started with. I wanted to connect with the crowd right from the start, make sure that I had them on board, and uh, I certainly did. The crowd responded exactly how I wanted them to, and it was, from there on, it was just, uh, just another amazing gig in Buenos Aires. The whole weekend was something that just turned into the one of the most unforgettable gigs I've done, Rosario and Buenos Aires. They've always been amazing places for me to play, but uh, it just seemed to go up a few levels. The journey from Buenos Aires to Rosario is a long straight road, lots of countryside, but gives you lots of time to think, contemplate what you're gonna play, what you think you might play, what you think you might not play, and just, it's just one of those things, you know, three hours, it's a nice bit of downtime. You know, there was a good bunch of people in the car uh, having the crack, uh, there was some filming going on, you know, interested in on how those guys, what they were filming, how they're filming it, what sort of shots they were gonna be contemplating for the weekend, how they were gonna shoot stuff. You know, so, you know, having uh, our man in the field on this trip, also threw a bit of a different slant onto it, um, which made it interesting for me as well, because I knew this was gonna be a special weekend. I just didn't realize it was gonna be that special. So the fact that I knew after Rosario, we'd caught it on film, that was another level of excitement for me because I thought I can share this with the rest of the world uh, with some high quality footage, which is gonna confirm everything that I'm saying now, how amazing these parties were. So for me, DJing, you know, is my passion, is my life. I live and breathe it 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I'm always looking and searching for that new record, that new track that's gonna get that reaction, get people talking, wanting to find out what it is. And to have that kind of crowd to go and play to just makes it all worthwhile. So after the 14 hour flight, after a short amount of sleep, the long drive to Rosario, a quick meal, no sleep before the gig. You know, we ended up outside this amazing warehouse space, the doors opened and what an incredible sight to behold. And I walked through the doors and there's 6,000 people waiting, anticipating, just ready for just a great night out. And I think I enjoyed the night just as much as them. So thank you to everyone in Argentina for making it a special weekend. It was truly mind-blowing, incredible, and uh, I can't wait to come back and play again.
y Argentina es pasión, Argentina es fútbol, es los amigos, el tango, campeones del mundo, pura vida, pasión y es música electrónica también, es la noche, la noche de Portenia, la noche de Rosario, John es, es parte de Infaltable todo eso, sin John la noche no sería lo mismo, la de Buenos Aires, ni la de Rosario, ni la de ninguna fiesta electrónica que conciba no tener al maestro. Así que, es eso. no se nos va a olvidar más, nunca más. Estuvimos en las dos fiestas y fueron increíbles. La energía, la gente amigos, las miradas, las risas, los saltos, no importaba nada, no importaba el frío, no importaba las horas de viaje, no todo por, por escuchar el mejor set de nuestras vidas, el mejor set de nuestras vidas.